friends today we're gonna see how we can do watercolor painting of a pumpkin as halloween and fall is approaching here in the usa everybody is getting ready hopefully in this pandemic uh, the kids will be able to celebrate uh, uh, halloween uh, with nice pretty dresses so i have already drawn the pumpkin i didn't want the lines to be seen so that's why I have erased it and uh, here I am coming up with a lot of orange color I am using prang watercolors again and uh, I have uh, drawn two leaves on top and bottom so here we are putting some dark just you can use direct brown or uh, brown mixed with orange so to make the areas little darker like a shadow falling from the leaf the shadow of the leaf and uh, different sections I have divided the pumpkin into like few sections so we see the bumps the nice rounds around the pumpkin so and then in the corners obviously it's gonna be dark so we're gonna do the brown and then when it's wet you uh, do the blending part so you're not putting lot of water anymore so yeah so you can see i'm doing browns at the bottom and then giving some lighter and darker shades of orange i didn't want it to be like plain orange so i kept doing some brown shades and some lighter shades and some darker shades on the pumpkin the pumpkin is sometimes really bumpy it's not really a soft one so I think we should have started from the uh, left so that it was easy for me to do the uh, middle part but uh, I started from this side so in the middle portion the darkness is on little bit on the either sides and here again you can see now uh, the leaf coming up I in my next video I'll post uh, uh, the pumpkin how to draw a pumpkin and maple leaf so everybody can watch and uh, uh, do their own composition after that so I'll show it in a very simple technique here I'm using lot of oranges because I wanted to do a very bright pumpkin especially kids love bright colors so I wanted to do very bright pumpkin so if you uh, can hang it on your uh, uh, wall at the pa at the fall time and decorate around it it will be very beautiful so here you can see I'm uh, doing darker shades around the leaf as when there is some object placed on something you get that uh, uh, shadow on them and here I am giving some highlights and here I am giving some brown uh, shades of uh, the pumpkin where there is very less light and we go to different sections it's really quickly you can do I have speed up my uh, video but uh, this pumpkin can be done very quickly but again if you are drawing a leaf and all be careful you can uh, lift the color to give the highlights or you can leave that area white and come back and blend it so while I was teaching my uh, uh, students I was uh, telling them to leave the white area where they want the highlight and come back and put some water when the orange is still wet when the colors are still wet this pumpkin you have to do in sections because when it's wet and you blend the browns and all they don't look patchy and they look smooth but we we don't want the smoothness so you give basically don't make it very patchy just keep it brown and on the last section also i am doing the uh, i'm taking away the color after i have put it so the high the sh uh, the light is falling on that side but uh, it's not really bright light so there is some shadow so yeah as you can see the darker uh, uh, br the brown is uh, blending in when the color is still wet so here uh, 
the next you can keep blending it and then the orange i have uh, done this pumpkin in a side that you can see from the the other side of the pumpkin too but when we are uh, uh, drawing i'll show you two versions where we can see just the front view and the little bit of the top view i'll do both the versions so for uh, little kids it's easier if they just do the uh, front view and uh, here we are doing the darkness where uh, on top of the pumpkin it will be really dark because there is not much light and it's little far away from us so and then come back with orange when it's wet so it can blend easily i will uh, i'll try to post the video of pumpkin drawing as quickly as possible please make sure you're not getting any color on the stem because the stem is going to be completely different color we don't want any oranges on that you don't need to use any masking fluid here because if you are drawing in a bigger size then you don't need any masking fluid as you can see it's already taking nice uh, the pumpkin shape has come up and i hope it looks uh, if you want some more color to be taken off you can take a paper napkin and lift the color you can see in the corner my uh, paper napkin has turned all orange For the stem, I have observed there are lines. So I mixed little green and tiny bit of black. I have taken darker green and then tiny bit of orange in it. And then I have done some random lines and did some dots. And then that's it. And little bit of water. You can see if you go and check the pumpkin stem is exactly like that. come i came back with fresh water for the maple leaf here i am doing very simple technique for the maple leaf just put some water i am doing wet on wet so i am applying water where the leaf is be very careful you don't want the water to flow so use little bit of water and then i came back with yellow and then i did orange and then uh, to give little bit of contrast i uh, did some green i did some uh, leaf green so otherwise the whole thing is orange orange so i wanted to do that i didn't want to add any grass on because i just wanted to do the pumpkin and the fall colors basically effect of the fall colors after it dries we'll come back with a lighter uh, uh, greenish uh, gray shade and then or brownish shade and come back and do the veins of the leaf after we do wet on wet just when it's about to dry just come back with a wet brush and then just remove the spots the spots don't look like a nice leaf here i haven't done such brighter green uh but uh, usually if the leaf is very bright and uh, it will be very nice it will look very nice when i was taking class for the kids i was uh, doing telling them to do brighter green and uh, do brighter oranges and yellows yellows is must you have to use yellows otherwise the orange and the green will blend and make it very muddy so you have to use the yellows again the same thing let it dry before don't do it when it's wet the veins and all don't do it when it's wet you have to do it when it's dry while it was drying up i was doing the shadow of the pumpkin because we have given shadows of the leaves on the pumpkin so we better make it uh, where it is placed on something kind of thing so i wanted to give the shadows so here you can see i am making the leaf little brighter and then blending the spots i didn't like the spots at all as if 
the leaf had some issue i wanted the colors to blend in with each other here i am coming back with tiny bit of gray tiny bit of gray is enough black with lot of water is enough don't do lot of black and then just blend it into the white which is get some fresh water and blend it into the white don't use darker uh, uh, water otherwise it will not blend properly and then some shadow around the leaf if there are any pencil marks erase it i know you can't see the pencil marks but uh, i was able to see them i have drawn them very light and gentle so yeah you can see now the pumpkin comes like it's on something and yeah now it looks nice so do see if the leaf is dry or not the leaf area is dry or not then come back with a thinner brush or just make your brush pointed very nice pointed and then draw the veins gentle very thin lines so make sure you are doing very gentle thin lines voila it's done how do you like it friends please give a th like please give a thumbs up press the like button subscribe to my channel and do share with your friends and please remember to comment below thank you